untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Historic Games video. Today we're taking a look at a blue-green combo deck titled Body Collector, as voted on by my supporters on Patreon. It's a Body of Research Simic Ascendancy combo deck. Simic Ascendancy, a two-man enchantment that has an activated ability that can put plus one counters on creatures, and whenever one or more plus one counters are put on a creature we control, we put that many growth counters on Simic Ascendancy, and at the beginning of our upkeep, if Simic Ascendancy has 20 or more growth counters on it, we win the game. And then Strixhaven introduced a Body of Research, a 6 mana mythic rare sorcery that creates a 0 0 green and blue fractal creature token. And then we put X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the number of cards in our library. So as long as we have 20 or more cards remaining in our library, we play Body of Research, and then we'll get 20 or more counters on Simic Ascendancy. And in our next upkeep, we win the game. So very straightforward two card combo. Now, to make sure we get to six mana in time, we do have quite a bit of a ramp in the deck as well with four copies of Explore. Let's just play an additional land this turn and we get to draw a card and grow spiral, which can put a land in play and draw a card as well. We've got 26 lands total to make sure that these always put extra lands in play. Then we also have two copies of Cultivate, which can search for two basic lands, one into play, one into our hand. And then taking a look at the rest of the deck, we do have a bit of card filtering as well with the full play set of Brainstorm, which lets us draw three cards. And then we put two cards from our hand on the top of our library in any order. And this is especially great in this deck since we have a lot of shuffle effects to potentially get rid of the cards we put back on top so we don't have to redraw them, including four copies of Fabled Passage as a fetch land. Of course, Cultivate also shuffles our library. And then our two Planeswalkers also interact favorably with Brainstorm. We have two copies of Narset, which prevents the opponent from drawing more than one card in their turn. And the minus two looks at the top four cards of our library, and then we can reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them and put it into our hand. So that can potentially reveal the cards we put back on top with Brainstorm, or we can just put cards back on top that were guaranteed to hit with Narset. So that's a neat trick we can pull off. And then we also have the full play set of Tamiyo, Collector of Tales, which also synergizes nicely with Brainstorm if we use the plus one ability. Tamiyo also prevents the opponent from making us discard cards or sacrifice permanents as long as she's in play. And then the plus one makes us choose a non-land card name, and then we reveal the top four cards of our library and put all cards revealed with the chosen name from among them into our hand, and the rest goes into our graveyard. So we can potentially put cards back on top with Brainstorm and then name one of those cards with Tamiyo, or we can just use Tamius plus one to mill those cards into our graveyard so we don't have to redraw them. And then a minus three can return target card from our graveyard to our hand. So that's a great way to potentially pick up a Simic Ascendancy or Body of Research that got milled with the plus one ability. And of course a plus one can also help us find Ascendancy and Body of Research. And then we also have a bit of interaction with the full play set of Into the Royal as a two mana bounce spell that we can also kick for an additional one and a blue, in which case we get to draw a card as well. And then Mystic Subduel is our creature removal spell of choice. It's an enchantment aura that we can play at instant speed thanks to Flash, enchants an opposing creature giving it minus two minus O, and it loses all abilities. So this is especially useful against creatures like Core Spirit Dancer or other creatures with various abilities that we want to shut down. And then taking a look at the mana base, 26 lands as I mentioned, with 4 copies of Fabled Passage to go alongside Brainstorm. So that's usually a land we want to keep in play for as long as possible, so we have that shuffle effect available. And then we've got 10 basic lands to search up with 5 forests and 5 islands, good with our Cultivate and Fabled Passage. And then a lot of blue-green dual lands, including Hinterland Harbor, Breeding Pool and 4 of the blue-green pathway. And then we also get to free roll Kahira, the Orphan Guard, as our companion. So that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the play with a fine hand. We've got the Ascendancy, just missing our body of research. We've got some ramp, a bit of interaction. Facing a Yurion Skynomance deck. Typically a bit more controlling. Can definitely afford to hold Fabled Passage in case of Brainstorm. For now, we'll explore. All right, perfect. So we get to play turn three Tamyo, which can plus and look for body of research. Ooh, there we go. All right, so now what? 
Let's play Tamyo. And then... I want a plus. Could go for Growth Spiral, which we still have four copies of in the deck. And then next turn we could Ascendancy plus Growth Spiral. Our opponent could be a Transmogrify deck, trying to turn their wall into a more threatening creature. As we see Thrilling Discovery. And double Dragon's Approach in the Graveyard. Alright, so our opponent's a Dragon's Approach deck. So I do want to hang on to Into the Royal as potential interaction here. And then for now, can Simic Ascendancy. Time you can also minus on a land if needed. Although I could still do that next turn. So let's plus on Gross Peril. Seek and find. Play Ascendancy. And then we'll pass with Into the Royal available. Next turn we can minus on a land if we don't draw one. Play Body Research. Take it from there. Seize the spoils, discards another dragon's approach. And our opponent will get to, you know, play whatever dragon they want next turn potentially. I could bounce the treasure, could bounce the wall if we're still afraid of transmogrify. Although at this point, I think I just bounced the treasure token. Make it more difficult for them to double spell. Take our draw step. And then we'll minus on a land. The storied past holds our future. Fetch for an island. And we'll see if they can answer ascendancy. Currently three copies of Dragon's Approach in the graveyard, so they need a fourth before they can search for a dragon. Alright, so if they have a land into Approach, they get to find a dragon. And now the question is, which dragon do they get, and does it win them the game on the spot? Maybe Velomachus plus a bunch of time walks could do it. It's gonna be Darigas reincarnated, killing Tamyo, but Simic Ascendancy still wins the game. Alright, sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Brainstorm pairs nicely with Cultivate. Usually don't want to brainstorm on turn one, so we'll just play a tap land. And then turn to explore. And then maybe turn three, we can combine brainstorm and cultivate. Opponents ramping with elves into beanstalk. Into the royal. I think I still prefer explore. And Fable Passage also way to shuffle. So yeah, I think we just wait. Could play this as a blue source to brainstorm, but uh, let's just play this as green. And then next turn I can brainstorm into Cultivate. Opponent playing a land destruction deck, I see. Well, good thing we have some ramp. So now we'll just have to cultivate, grab blue mana. So it's going to be a struggle to get up to six mana for body of research. Although no stone rain this turn at least. So next turn they could potentially use the Slumber Mound. Let's see, can Brainstorm still shuffle? 
just looking for ramp cards. Alright, those are ramp cards. Mystic Subdual doesn't seem necessary. And... I could get rid of Into the Royal, perhaps. It does bounce the token, but don't think that's super important. And then we'll shuffle, play Spiral and Explore. Can play Spiral at instant speed. And then we still have a fetch line to pair with our Brainstorm as well. Grow Spiral can put Fabled Passage in play to shuffle. Put on just cast their Beanstalk Giant. That's fine. And now we can maybe shuffle away some lands. Don't need Mystic Subdual. Breeding pool can go. Alright, so we could make a large fractal, although I'd really like to find Simic Ascendancy first. If I plus time you, we could lose her to the giant. So, kind of an interesting spot. Do we just plus for Ascendancy, hope for the best? Or do we guarantee to get a bit of value by maybe minusing on a Brainstorm, which I can pair with Cultivate as well? Yeah, that seems better. Every story is an opportunity for new data. I follow the tracks of the wise. All right, there's Ascendancy, so we would have hit as well if we plussed. And then shuffle back both of these. Next turn, I think I'll have enough mana for both Ascendancy and Body Research in the same turn. And for now, Cultivate. All right. So the land destruction plan from the opponent's probably not going to work out. Frostbite deals with our Planeswalker. Can Ascendancy, Body of Research, and then could technically still do something else. Alright, let's see if they can deal with our enchantments, or if they can just deal 10 damage. Also, they need to get past our 35-35. They could have a Sotus Demolisher to destroy my Simic Ascendancy here. It's gonna be Rubble Reading instead, that's fine. And yeah, opponent passes a turn, and Simic Ascendancy claims another victim onto the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a keepable hand, assuming we can pick up an extra land or two along the way, facing Gigantha the Wellspring as companion. If it's a sacrifice deck, we have to be careful when playing Body of Research that it doesn't get stolen by Claim the Firstborn and kills us on the spot. It's going to be Hinterland Harbor from the opponent instead. We'll fetch up a forest. A tune, so looks like an Aetherworks Marvel combo deck. Fetch a forest and turn to explore. I could brainstorm, but I'm probably gonna wait here and then cast it next turn alongside Cultivate. Opponent up to 4 energy, right? Opponent on the Sultai version, so they might have some slight variations from the regular builds. Fable Passage can also shuffle. Not gonna need Mystic Subdual into the Royals, also not super important. So let's brainstorm now. Alright, just get rid of double Mystic Subdual. 
And then we'll shuffle with Cultivate instead of Fabled Passage. Alright, still missing Simic Ascendancy. Could always play Body of Research and hope that wins us a game. Karn, a Great Crater, can find Aetherworks Marvel out of the sideboard. Now reduced to 7 cards instead of 15. But Karn's still a nice card in the metagame. Alrighty, so... I think I'm just playing Body of Research here. And then Into the Royal can maybe clear a path for us. Unless they have another attune, they might be unable to spin the wheel on Marvel. So... We'll see how this pans out. Maelstrom Pulse. Alright, that was unexpected, so that's what the Black is helping them for. Karn can get a Puzzle Knot to make more energy if they want to. Or a Golos. I guess it explains the five color mana base potentially. Well, now we're kind of out of action. We had a lot riding on Body Research surviving, assuming the opponent is playing a combo deck without much interaction. Narset's nice at least. Opponent's gonna brainstorm as well. Also good in a Marvel deck since you can put some heavy hitters on top to then reveal with Marvel. Like Ulamog. And there's the Ascendancy, a bit late to the party. Could also go for Mystic Subdual to protect Narsets from the Rogue Refiner. Although I could just keep up into the Royal to bounce it. Got a couple options here. I guess I'll grab Ascendancy, even though it's probably going to get answered by a scary card like Ulamog or Ugin. And I'll just keep up into the Royal for now. Alright, opponent plays Marvel. Do they have two more energy? They do, but I could bounce the Marvel now to prevent them from activating it this turn. It's kind of, you know, delaying the inevitable. Could also decide to hang on to my Narset by bouncing the Rogue Refiner. In the hopes of finding a body of research that way, because her hand's pretty bad at the moment. So I don't think I can afford to bounce Marvel right now. Their opponent's gonna spin the wheel, presumably. They're gonna attack with her finer firsts. Yeah, I'll bounce it. Gotta save Narset here. And if they replay it, at least they won't get to draw a card because of Narset. Although, opponent hit a Tybalt, Cosmic Imposter. Which finds an Into the Royal, which can answer my Ascendancy. So that's probably game over here. Did find a body of research. So we would have had the combo, but sadly Tybalt kind of ruins everything. So they're gonna bounce my Ascendancy, and then Tybalt can deal with my token. At least they can't replay the Fractal. So yeah, our opponent had the interaction they needed. Maelstrom Pulse for the first Fractal, and then... Tybalt finding our Into the Royal for Ascendancy. Much to learn. If only it's triggered in our end step instead. So just waiting for the opponent to cast into the royal and take over. They can play it kicked as well. So my best chance is stop decking another body of research. Ascendancy, not so much. 
can put Kahira in hand, but this game seems over. Sadly, our own deck betrayed us. Mine. Karn can minus once again. Decides to plus on the puzzle knot to hit us for five. I could subdual. My best chance is probably hanging on to my Fable Passage for Brainstorm. And Marvel can spin again. Finds a brainstorm, so that was a bit of a miss. I imagine by now they'll have another answer for Ascendancy in case we do find Body of Research. Like another Maelstrom Pulse, so... Into the Royal... I guess could bounce one of their Planeswalkers. Tybalt can still play the cards from Exile, and there's another Tybalt waiting there, so probably better off bouncing Karn. Now one thing we could do is play a second Ascendancy. That way if we do find Body of Research, we'll have double Ascendancy, although that doesn't help against Maelstrom Pulse, which will destroy both copies anyway. But we did find Taimyo, so that's potentially exciting. So I can Taimyo, get back Body of Research... And then potentially play my second Ascendancy into Body of Research next turn. And then hope they don't have a Maelstrom Pulse. Opponent found an Uvlamog as well, which they're scarily close to casting. And now Taimyo can get back Maelstrom Pulse from the graveyard. Ugin can also wipe the board. Alright, so we're dead in multiple ways. Although we did get to put more than 20 counters on Ascendancy twice this game. It just didn't win us the game, sadly. Ugin is scared of Ascendancy, has to minus two. Yeah, I don't think there's a combination of draws that saves us now. But just to prove a point, we'll go through the motions again. Ugin can minus two again to wipe the board. Finds another into the royal. Alright, I think they can cast their Ulamog almost. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There he is. We can Mystic Subdual Ulamog so it doesn't mill us for 20 when it attacks, but it's still gonna be an 8 powered creature, so. GG's. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a reasonable hand. Turn to explore into maybe turn three Tamyo. Not gonna need to brainstorm on turn one. And a roiling vortex. Alright, so we're putting on some sort of burn deck. Now we did pick up Fable Passage, which pairs nicely with Brainstorm as well. Um, I guess there's a chance I want to end of turn Brainstorm. Although more likely that I hold it in hand for a while. Another Roiling Vortex, okay. 
So that's going to start adding up. And a Pillar of Flame goes face. So I guess our opponent was sick of losing to the life gain decks. Do I want to brainstorm? I think I just untap Tamio and plus. And then we're looking for Simic Ascendancy. There we go. And let's see if we can beat a burn deck. We're down to 13 into the royal, could also bounce vortex for a turn. So I'm kind of into the idea of using Tamiya to get back a land. Could even get back Fabled Passage after we Brainstorm. So let's say this turn we Brainstorm, Ascendancy, keep up into the Royal. Uh, that seems fine, so we'll Brainstorm first. Can get rid of Tamiyo and Narsets. Or a couple lands. So now I don't need to minus four land necessarily. Put back Breeding Pool and another Tamiyo. Shuffle those away, or we can plus time you. Although, what would I be plusing for at this point? I think we just shuffle. And then... There's nothing I can really think of that would be needed here. Because next turn the plan is to play Body of Research anyway. So, yeah, I guess we'll just plus on, like, a growth spiral. Alright, hit two of them. And then the plan is to into the royal, the vortex. Volcanic fallout deals two. Want to bounce the vortex before it deals one extra damage to me, which could make a difference. Lightning Strike face. Down to eight. And a Skewer for another three. They also have double Ramonap Ruins here, so that's gonna add up. So end of turn bounce Vortex. We're at four, so if my plan is Body of Research, then next turn I'm taking one from Vortex, two from Ruins, so it would be at one. If they draw land, I'm dead, and if they draw a non-land, we're probably dead as well. So I can't think of many draws that keep me alive. So does that mean I need to minus to get back into the royal, but then they can just double Ramna Prunes to kill me. Don't have any life gain in the deck, so... Yeah, there's not many sequences where we don't die here. I mean, I guess we just play Body Research and then we'll see what happens. This triggers beginning of upkeep, so even if I get back into the royal, I wouldn't be able to stop that from killing me. The past is never forgotten. So our opponent needs to draw a non land, non burn card. They drew the land, so now Ramana Prunes kills me. Oh, never mind. I guess this costs two mana, I thought it cost one. So I guess our opponent will be a little short here. Two triggers on the stack. So, yeah, there we go. For some reason I thought Roiling Vortex was one mana, but it's just activated ability. So yeah, Simic Ascendancy wins the game. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Hand is decent. We're missing ramp, but we do have the two combo pieces and a bit of interaction. 
So we'll see if that suffices. Opponent on a mill deck. Mill decks can be kind of difficult if they mill enough by the time we cast Body of Research where it doesn't put enough counters on Simic Ascendancy to win the game. And they do tend to have a few counter spells in there too. Another Apprentice. At least they don't have a mill engine in play, like uh, Drowned Secrets or one of the crabs, since the snow-covered islands point towards the Iceberg Cancrix, which alongside Rune Crab can mill us out. Well, probably no point in bouncing Apprentice, so we'll play Ascendancy. We have a handy tracker on Body of Research, seeing how many cards we have left, so we don't even have to look at our library. There's a Tutelage, that's a problem card that we have to deal with. Alright, Narset is great, although they do have some creatures to pressure her. Still probably worth playing, and then I don't have to minus, I can just keep Narset at 5. And then next turn I can minus. That way we prevent the opponent from attacking Narset first, and then casting a card draw spell after to trigger Tutelage a bunch. And then next turn we can potentially protect our Narset with Into the Royal. Aha, uh -huh, Ashok. Down to 36 cards, so the clock is ticking. This is overwhelming. So is it time to minus Narsets? I really need some ramp here, I think. Otherwise we might be a turn too slow. Another into the royal, subdual doesn't seem necessary. So I'm just gonna double into the royal. No point in bouncing Ashok, but we can bounce Tutelage before they draw. Alright, I still need one extra land. Boon replays Tutelage. So in response to the draw trigger, I can bounce it again so they don't mill me. Opponent gets rid of Jace. Down to 30 cards. Now Ascendancy does win in our upkeep. So if we have an empty library, we can still potentially win the game. Gross Spiral. Yeah, I'm probably forced to cast it. Although I could also cast it in the opponent's turn and keep up into the Royal. Damage probably not gonna matter. Alright, so... This seems fine. And then a response to Tutelage, if they replay it. We're probably gonna attempt the same trick, but I think I will grow Spiral first, because I really want to make sure I have land 6 next turn. So we'll Spiral. Alright, land is good. And we'll bounce. Could also bounce Ashok, which they haven't activated yet this turn. Either way, we should have enough cards for Body of Research and Ascendancy to win. So we'll bounce the Fairy's Tutelage. I don't think they'll have any counter spells for Body of Research, so the main concern is a bounce spell for Ascendancy. Gets rid of another Jordy Disruption. I guess that could get us if they have a land. 
down to 23 cards, so still just enough. A secret keeper, I guess, could mess with our plan. Alright, no spell pierce, please. Alright, and now we just need to fade a bounce spell. Even if they mill the rest of my library, we still win. Wins a rebuke. Our opponents might have bounced the wrong permanent unless they have a second bounce spell. Down to 16 cards. Hits me for three. And Ascendancy wins the game. So yeah, my opponent could have bounced my Ascendancy there, but I guess they were too scared of the creature. Sweet, on to the next one. All right, we're on the play with the fine opening hands. Plenty of ramp with our Growth Spiral and Cultivate. Question is whether to play the Fabled Passage. I think I do. Otherwise, there's a risk we might not be able to curve out properly. And then we'll fetch. Island seems okay here. Alright, play Harbor, pass with Growth Spiral, and into the Royal available. And we picked up our body research, so just missing our Simic Ascendancy now. Opponent with plenty of fetch lands, so it might be a landfall deck. Another body research might be a game where we just kill the opponent with a large fractal. Since we can cast a turn four body of research here. Opponent's blue green. Alright, a Sanctum deck with Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest. Could bounce the enchantment, but I'm liking the play of just casting our body of research instead. Force the opponent to have some sort of answer. Vanishing lights will do. So now we have to reevaluate. Do we make the same play? Or do we take a different approach? I can cultivate play kicked into the royal bouncing sanctum. Which is also reasonable. Well, let's bounce first in case we pick up maybe a Narset we want to play instead. And then we can maybe try again next turn, unless we pick up Ascendancy first. Honden of Ninth Reach, gonna make us discard. And there's Ascendancy, perfect. So now they need to answer both Ascendancy and our Fractal, which is not an easy feat. Can easily discard Mystic Subdual since I don't expect the opponent to have any creatures besides maybe the tokens from the green Honden. Thirst for meaning to go digging. But with only three mana left potentially, I don't see them dealing with both our Fractal and the Ascendancy. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. This hand could be a little too slow, but if we, you know, get to use Subdual on turn 2 and then hit our land for Cultivate, we might still be fine. Planes into a Johnny's Welcome, so a life gain deck. Alright, should have a target for Subdual next turn. Black-white life gain deck with Cruel Celebrants. And we can pass with Subdual available in case they present a scarier target. Another Johnny's Welcome, that's fine. 
we'll subdue. And then I could go for Narsets, although I think I prefer Cultivate. Just give us more options with more lands in play. And then Taimyo can go looking for our Simic Ascendancy. Brainstorm also nice. So I can Brainstorm and then Taimyo. Alright, there's Simic Ascendancy, so I don't even have to play Taimyo. So we have a lot of options here. Could also shuffle with Fabled Passage, so a wealth of options. Yeah, I can just play Ascendancy, shuffle with Fabled Passage, and then next turn win with uh, Body of Research. Assuming the Ascendancy sticks around. Heliod is going to increase the damage significantly. And they do have enough devotion for it to be a creature. Otherwise, Welcome wouldn't even have triggered. So that made a big difference. But we can shuffle. And uh, yeah, hope they don't have something like Banishing Light for my Ascendancy. And then we also get a large blocker, so between the blocker and us still being at 17, we should be okay. Alright, let's go for our combo. And we'll see if they can handle the Ascendancy. Another Healer's Hawk. Definitely a matchup where the Fractal wouldn't be able to do much since it just gets blocked by Heliot. So the Ascendancy is vital. And our opponent concedes, they know what's incoming, and Ascendancy wins the game. Now we could also take a slightly different approach, where we include some cantrips to give our creature trample until end of turn. That way we can still potentially win with a large fractal, even if they have some chum blockers available. But in most matchups, the opponent is going to have more answers for creatures than they do enchantments, so Ascendancy is still the more reliable win condition. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank my patrons as well for voting on this awesome deck. And for now, want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.